Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. So today we're going to be counting down all my Jurassic World toys from the first movie to the last. So let's first begin. So we should first begin with the... Lego Carnotaurus. So you can see this dino, it's really cool. You can go up and down with its legs. You can move the arms like that. I can go up. I actually got this from one for my birthday. It doesn't I don't I don't have the Lego sets but for this, but I actually bought it all by itself for my birthday, which is very impressive. So I'm just gonna put it there. There to start my collection. Good morning, Big Brack. Good morning. When he wakes up, he's so tired. So how about the Maisie sets? Maisie look good. So there's the T-Rex head. Maisie, Maisie. Maisie, where's the clone? Where's the clone? Clone. Clone. Okay, so this is the regular Spinosaurus, I can't find Maisie, and there, so it could, I, if you weren't watching the last video, we were doing the comparisons, and this Spinosaurus was pretty good, so we can put him down there, you should know what has happened if you were following up the last video, so how about the Jurassic World Jeep? Not cheap. Truck to get to get all the diamonds off the island. It's really cool. Up and down flats. Okay. So now we're moving on to the concavenator. So you can see this nice and cool. You can if you tap this button, it's hell move left and right. Let's see if you get to see that. Then its mouth can go like this. To open and opens and shuts, so we can place you there. So now we are going to do the. So let's do the oh the new dimorphodon. It's a nice dog. It's a nice dino. I can't lie. It can it still can go up and down like so. You, you can bend its legs, so this one's also in our comparison video. You can make its legs flip, I mean arms. Yeah, and it's really cool. So let's plate, so you, you can go down here on this platform. Mm. Instead. So now we could place the old Ankylosaurus. This one comes with armor, but we are doing like the the new one and the and only dinosaurs from the old bit and from the old movie. How about the? Let's go to the olden times. I think. This is the old T Rex. Just go up and down. Really cool Rex. She can go there. Then I can also show you Dr. Ian Malcolm. You, he is a Jurassic Park person, but he came in the in the Jurassic World ones, and he was also in the Jurassic World movie. So he deserves a place in all this, doesn't he? Like Alan Grant and Dr. Ellie Sattler. So now they can do the baryonics. There. It's really cool with lots of these toys, I can't lie. I've been a collector for years. Ah, the pterodactyl. So these ones are jams. If you have them really, you could, you used to 
do this, then the wings go like that. But and here it came with a helicopter and the dart would go right there and it would open up and you could pretend that he went down when he when he opened his mouth he went like that and crashed down dead like that. It was really cool. But its wings are very drowned. There. I can show you this. Look. Then look. Then you could. Then the person that was holding this would do that, and then crash down like that. Yeah, again, really cool toy. Let's go into the next one. Let's do this. So this is a Protoceratops. It wasn't in the movies, but it is a Jurassic World toy. So it has the DNA thing there. So I'm going to place you right there at the front. Then the Ceratosaurus from the old movie. Another really good dino. You can do this, then that. Then, if there was batteries in it, when it went that, it would scream, the scream, well, roar, not scream, roar, and then he would fall right down. So, let's do the next one. Should we do the... That's amazing. But we're just going to make me wrong. Let's do Maisie Lockwood, or oh, Maisie Clone. So you can see that this there, and there's a T-Rex skull, and it's the set's like this with Maisie and the baby T-Rex. Really cool set. I really like it. And let's go on to the next one. So for the next one, it's going to be a little different. Winter, because we are going to do the driver spear. Sorry, we mm. Actually, let's do this T Rex first. The old, the new Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom T Rex. So you can see that. It can do that. Let's put him down here on the far side. Maybe you can see him. Now, what a Jurassic movie I'd like to ask about. The four main characters of the first movie, Blue, Echo, Delta and Charlie. So these guys are just regular ones. I'll show you Blue, because that's the only one I really need to show you. So the legs move very hardly, only one does really, unless you broke the toy. Then the arms go up and down and that's really it. They're all the same thing, just they look a little different, very different some. Like Echo, 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 Delta and stuff. Look at the differences. So that's Delta, that's blue. This is Charlie. And that's Echo at the back. Put in the comments if you're saying I'm wrong. Because I think I'm pretty right. Because I am. Moving on, let's go to this T Rex here. So, this is an old one. It's a hybrid. I got it. This is from America. So, you can see that. It's really cool. Investigating the truck. In the comments, if you want me to do my own version of Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. So, this is the Gallimimus, which you probably should know from a new movie. You could just move its arms, not really, nothing special. And it goes up and down. Not very special, but it's just, but it is one step closer to finishing your collection. Because these are collection toys. 
as well as play toys. You can collect anything in the world, to be honest. You can even collect moldy baby wipes or tears. Even if it's very, very disgusting, you can still collect them. Okay. Oh, and then, oh, and then, oh, and You ready to ride in the driver's spear? Yep, the next one's the driver's spear from the new movie, The Rasser World Fallen Kingdom. get this good and done. So at the end, when all of these toys are away, I could maybe have a little fun with this guy. i show you how funny he is. I just want to say that Jurassic World Full of Kingdom toys have to be like the best toys ever. These are, last, these are the toys that have lasted me the most in my life. So I'm going to place them at the back. I can show you what he does later. You can put them in the comments before you see this bit. But before you see the comments. So, oh, just when I was about to go to back to the beginning. So, uh, basically, this isn't my full collection. This is just two boxes of it. Where is this? Oh, there. Oh, so. There. Lights on this. You can do it over and shut it. If you've noticed the button on here, you're very correct. Look. The doors can open. Two. This is one of my Dilophosauruses. There, we can place them up here. It come, they come with a piece of venom that you can fire out of their mouths. Which is really cool. And the box is empty, yet, finally. So now we're going to do the two Spinosauruses. You can get a good glimpse of that. There. So you can place these two right next to the other one and let's continue. We're nearly around the end of this. So here's Dr. Alan Grant. Let's get another close-up inch. There. He could go right there. He's had experience with the Gallimimus. It's so get a few of these small ones to get done out of my box. So we're gonna do the, the these ones. So we're gonna do the the green triceratops from the first series. Blue from the first series. A baby and Kylosaurus, well an Kylosaurus from the first series. And a Stegosaurus from the first series. Then these from the second movie. These are from Jurassic Park in the first series. So this is second series and second movie. So you can go, you can't go with the T-Rex. And the T-Rex, you can go right down here. Because I need, because someone's going to have to be up there. Two are going to have to be up there, to be honest. I'd like to move my Avenaria creatures into here too. These are going to be for my colossal dinos. So I have a T Rex and the Mosasaurus colossal. Let's put the little Stegosaurus there. Then we can put the little blue right back here, being taken away. We can do an Ankylosaurus right there. I have the little trike back there. The other little triceratops there, and the, excuse me, endoraptor right there too. Let's do the Indominus Rex. 
nice slide open feature here. Very fun. Let's place you there near the driver's view. So now we're going to be doing the, the, the some more little guys and Douglas sat in the So the baby triceratop, I mean, st the small stegosaurus first. And then we're going to do Dr. Sattler. Then we're going to do the little Indominus Rex. You can see the little feature there where his mouth opens because it's see-through. Could have maybe done a little, they could have done a white texture maybe. Even though the Indominus is invisible. Then three compies. So let's put the little stegosaurus to fill up here again. Chocolate satin. You can study some dino droppings. Seeing so there's two triceratopses there. And Indominus Rex. The Indominus can go there with the Endoraptor. My child! And the three compies can go down there. Mom! Okay, let's see. The dimorphodon, that, not really much to be honest, but let's just place you down there. Now you can get a good one, the and the little compi, Compsant Nephus. So there's the little compi. Let's place it there. Owen and Canna. Oh, Canna, Wiggly. I think that was a better name for him. <laughs> Weedly. I mean, Cano. But in the comments, if you know what Cano's from, Cano. I think that could have been the name. I don't like people much. Now, how about the other Indominus Rex? It's a good one. The tail's here. And it's really good. I'm trying to quicken this up because if you were watching num number two, part two of my Jurassic, my Jurassic World Lego game, then you would have noticed that it finished off. The reason was because that the memory cam card finished up, so I'm going to be doing an episode of that. So there, it's part two at the bottom. So yeah, he can shake his head like that. Really good fun. Now let's put you down there. Now let's get the next one. Getting very empty. So that's just free. So let's do oh. let's do the Dilophosaurus Rex. It's a hybrid from that was made up for the toy. Let's put you there with the first dino, the Carnotaurus, then the Pachycephalosaurus, there. And then if you shake it left and right, its head moves. If you played Jurassic World Evolution, you would have noticed that some of the dinos like Pachycephalosaurus, their head sort of hangs off its neck, which is really weird, I find it. And I found that the toy was like this, that's probably why they did it. Now let's get the the last last but not least the Allosaurus. Raw really fun toy. So I'm gonna give you a little bit of time just to have a look at these dinos from my collection and I'll be right back.
there. This is a bit of my collection. There's my two other colossals. So these are two little baby T Rexels. I'll place them down here. Now let's put my colossals on. Onto my collection. So this is the colossal Mosasaurus. So we can put you down there. Then the colossal T Rex is going on the, this table here. So look at that. Just who's going to be there roaring. T Rex, you're apparently sharing with a Brachiosaur. My friend, Miss, Mr. Brack, the main person of this TV show. Well, it's not TV, but the main person of this dino, of this thing. So, there, this is my collection of Jurassic World. Put in the comments how many of these dinos you have. And how many of these you don't. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And now I'm going to show you the dragon spear. Let me just get this all in back into the box. Two more dinos, like the grown up Endoraptor and a segment, two separate Ceratopsis. But two of them are broken and one of them I can't find, so I can't show you guys. So put in the comments, I want to see the broken dinosaurs, and I will show you. But I probably will not get many about that. Comment. It's good to clean this up, but it's hard to put this all out. Wow. Wow. Ooh. I use your There. There. So look at this. Toy. So let's put my colossals up here. So I don't think you get to see all of them, but let me just put them all on this main table. Then I will lift the camera up so you can see all of them. I'm just missing the colossal blue. Mouth open! Okay. So I hope you enjoyed this episode, put in the comments what else I should do, and bye guys, bye!